Hi everyone, Nicholas Papidis here from the Junior Senior School here in sunny Cyprus, Nicosia, back with another video tutorial, and I'm sure you're all going to love this one. It's probably going to be one of the shortest videos that I've made. Now, the concept of this video is creating an upload-only folder. You say, well, why would I need an upload-only folder? Well, personally, I use it with my IGCSE students, so when they complete a past paper and they're just going to upload it to me, Instead of me having to create an assignment every time because I'm not really going to grade them, I just want to see where they are and give them feedback. We don't need to keep cluttering uh, the students' Microsoft Teams assignments non-stop with hundreds and hundreds of assignments just because they're going to hand in a piece of work. That's one method. You may want your colleagues to actually submit some files to you. Now note here, I said the word files. You cannot upload a folder. If you do want to upload a folder, then you would simply zip or archive that folder and upload that archive file. We're gonna have a look at that in this tutorial. So this is a really, really easy way to request files from people, but note, they cannot see what's inside the folder. They cannot read the files inside the folder. They cannot delete the files inside the folder. Anybody who has the link or you share the link with can actually upload files. And then there's a little extra bonus when they're uploading their files. And we're going to see what that little bonus is as we start uploading files in this tutorial. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to either use an existing folder or create a new folder. For this tutorial, I'm going to start a brand new folder. And this is the folder where people are going to be uploading files. So to do this, I'm going to open up OneDrive through the 365 portal. You can create the folder using your OneDrive application, but at the end of the day, you're going to need to go through the 365 portal to actually create the upload link. So you might as well just log into the 365 portal from the beginning. So here we are, I'm in my 365 portal here. I'm going to click on OneDrive, here it is here. And here are my files, I'm going to go Box standard method new folder and just give this a name so I'm going to call this year 11 space stu for files there we go create and that's now being created down here there it is now all I have to do to create the link for upload folder only I'm going to click on the three dots next to my folder and I'm going to choose request files. That's all I have to do. Just click on that, and now it wants a description. Now this description is going to be seen by whoever uses the link, uh, basically to explain what it is that you want. So I'm going to put here, upload completed papers here. Okay, so because I'm going to use this for sure. Now, if you want uh, staff to upload a specific file or video presentations or whatever for, let's say, an event you have and you want them to submit whatever files they're going to be using for that event, then you can just, you know, give the appropriate name there. And again, remember, nobody's going to be able to see what's inside that folder, only you. They can only upload. I'm going to go to next. And now here you've got the link. Now you can copy this link like I've done here. But you can also, if you want, and if you've got the name, you can send it to a distribution list by typing, typing the email address of the distribution list. You can type the name of a Microsoft Teams. So if it's a class team, you can write the name of the class team here. I'm going to demonstrate that now for you. There it is. So I type the name of my year 11 team. It says year 10. Bad naming convention for me. But this was basically a two-year course GCSE. So they start off in year 10, finish in year 11. So this is year 10, 20 until 2021. Anyway, so if I put this team here now and I click on send, all the members of this class team, all my students will get an email with the link for them to be able to upload files. Now, if you're going to be using this and you want your students to use this quite oftenly, not a very good solution because they're going to have to keep looking for that email address. So you're better off putting it in Teams and I'm going to show you a couple of ways to do that. If, however, you want to send this to a staff team or uh, some other professional learning development team that you have or distribution list and you only want them to use the link to send some files to you one time for this particular event, then you can actually add that staff team there and everyone will get the email. So I'm going to remove that from there now. I'm simply going to copy the link and click on done. And that's it. There's really nothing else to this. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open an incognito window, a private window, Control Shift N, and I'm going to paste this link here. Now notice through the private window, I'm not even logging in with a 365 account. So even guests, people not part of your organization, can be requested to submit files, providing they have the link. So I'm going to press Enter, and you can see all they get to see is this window with the instructions, upload completed papers here, or whatever instruction you gave. They cannot see what's inside that folder, they cannot delete, they cannot read. So this is why it's really good when you want to uh, request files either from students or from other staff members, especially if it's confidential material, nobody can see the material that's been added. They simply click on select files, and now these are basically the files that I want to upload. Essentially, I'm going to show you how they can upload or how you can upload the whole folder. So this is the folder, a past paper from 2019. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you uploading four files, these four files here. I'm going to click on open. Look at that. It's added the four files and that little extra bonus I was telling you about. Here it comes now. The person who's submitting can add, has to add a name. And I'm going to just put the shortened version of my name. So I'm just going to put Nick. And then for the surname, I'm going to put pup. But you can use a naming convention if you want. If you don't want to use people's name, it's up to you. You're going to see what this does now. Click on upload and push. It's done. That's it. Finished. Files uploaded. So I'm just going to close this, go back to my OneDrive here. Here's my folder. I click on this. Look at that. The four files are there, but notice the name of the files. It has appended the first name and last name that they submitted to the file name, to each file name that was submitted. Fantastic job, Microsoft. That's a really wonderful feature. Love it. So I know exactly who submitted each of these files. Perfect. I'm going to delete these files now. And let's just go back to my files. And this time I'm going to show you how we can use that link in Microsoft Teams to make it much easier to be used again and again and again by your students if they're uploading work or staff members. So I'm going to go to my Teams. I'm here now in my teacher training team in the general section. And what I can very easily start a new conversation, say upload link, for example, and paste the link here and just have staff click on this link. And when they click on this, straight away, it opens up the browser and they've got the ability to select files and upload. But just like an email, eventually this uh, link is going to be moving up and up and up and making it harder and harder for people to actually find that link as more posts are added. The same with students. So the best or preferred way for me is I'm going to click on this little plus sign up the top here to add a new tab. I'm going to choose a website. I'm going to give it a name. Um, upload your work. Okay. And I'm going to paste the link here. Now you can post this in the channel as well. I might as well leave it. Save. And look at that. The tab at the top, they simply click on it. They don't need to go anywhere. Directly from Teams, they've got this upload folder and they cannot see the work that other people have uploaded. Now, in the post section, it has actually added, there you go, it's made an announcement. This has been added as a tab at the top. So here it is here, upload your work. They click on this and, well, let's use this link now from Teams directly to upload an entire folder. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to find the work I want to upload. I've actually got the zip here, but I'm going to do this again from the beginning. So this is the folder with all the files that I want to, here, yeah, let's first it, that I want to upload to my teacher, let's say. So I'm going to right click on this folder and I'm going to choose to archive. Now I've got WinRAR installed, but if you don't have WinRAR, Windows has automatically WinZip, which is exactly the same, essentially. Um, it does exactly the same thing. Or any other archiving program you have will work. I'm going to add this to an archive. I'm not going to change the name. Remember, it's going to ask me my name and it's going to append my name on the file name anyway. So there you go. I'm going to click on OK. And here we go. It's added the file. Here it is here. Okay. Now this is the file I want to upload using the link. So I'm going to go to Teams. Um, here it is. I'm in my tab here. And I'm going to click on Select Files. Scroll to find my file. Here it is here. Select. I'm going to select the file there. Click open. And now I'm going to type my name. 
Nick. What the, not that it makes much of a difference, but anyway, might as well do it correctly. Nick Pup. Uh, this will be the student's name or whoever it is that, that is basically sending you the files. Click on upload and whoosh, it's done, finished. Perfect, directly from Teams. So let's go find those files. So from here, I'm probably going to need to upload, uh, refresh this page, but let's just have a look anyway. Yep, I need to refresh. So I'm just going to click on refresh there. And there's the files. And look, it's appended my name or the name of the person that sent it, Nick Pup, to the beginning of the file name. So I know exactly who sent this in. And this is the whole folder. Okay, so if I click on that, I can actually download this file. And when I download it, I will have access to the entire folder. What an easy way to submit files, keep those files protected so no one can see them, edit them or delete them, but you've got an easy way for people to submit files to you. That's basically it. If you learned something new, you think you've got a use for this feature, you like this video, make sure you click like, make sure you subscribe so you can see any new videos that I will be creating and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.